Welcome back to the Lights Out podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight, because tonight's story is called The Happy Day by Ruth Krauss. And it's another Caldecott Honor Medal winner, and it follows on from The Snowy Day Yesterday by Urza Jack Keats. And this story is a lovely story about snow again, which is falling and all the animals are fast asleep in their animal homes. And they awake, they open their eyes, they sniff, they run. What will they find? This book is as fresh as the first day of spring as joyful as this. And a big shout out goes to all the awesome authors who are supporting the Lights Out Bedtime Stories thousand ad-free stories forever mission. And the listeners, of course, who make it all possible. But back to the story, because it's all about the story The Happy Day by Ruth Krauss. Once upon a time. The snow is falling The field mice are sleeping. The bears are sleeping. The little snails sleep in their shells. And the squirrels sleep in the trees. The groundhogs sleep in the ground. Now they open their eyes. (laughs) They sniff. The field mice sniff. The bears (laughs) sniff. The little snails sniff in their shells. And the squirrels sniff in the trees. The groundhogs sniff in the ground. They sniff. They run. The field mice run. The bears run. The little snails run with their shells. And the squirrels run out of the trees. The groundhogs run out of the ground. They sniff. They run. They run. They sniff. They sniff. They run. They stop. They stop. They laugh, they laugh, they dance, they cry, oh, a flower is growing in the snow. The end. That was a nice little book called The Happy Day by Ruth Krauss. Here on the Lights Out podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls and sleeping animals in the snow around the world. Good night. Good night.